I've been meaning to put modules together for math for a long time. Take a lot of the content that we've created, right? And glue them together with text. Exercises I used to have online, but Google killed some of the stuff they had. So exercises got killed. But basically take the videos I've had online that I've made for the last long time now. Wow, so long, since 2007. So 17 years of math content right hundreds of videos take that make additional math videos take that cut them up put them together with text and create modules so basic idea is this here's our module number one I'll tell you what it's going to be all right module number one have text have video have exercises all right have text have video have exercises have text have video have or set of videos exercises exercises and etc right and depending on the module that we're going to create whatever we're going to talk about this is the layout is basically this but basically merging text video and exercises trying to get people uh, to learn help people learn a certain module and a module being a certain topic geared towards teaching something right start at a certain point end goal to at the end to be able to learn something okay so the first module we're gonna do we're gonna do this okay we're gonna do this we're gonna do this our first module is how to deal with fractions, right? Dealing with fractions. I'm just going to do short form right now, right? Dealing with fractions. And I'm going to I'm going to create this I'll make a flow chart really nice and stuff like this. I just want to give you guys a lowdown of what I'm going to be working towards as long as soon as some of the chaos around me subdues a little bit right dealing with fractions is one of the most important things that people need to learn right fractions is one of the first things that takes people out of the game right so i thought it was important to deal with the fractions first because that'll help out a lot of parents that are homeschooling their kids especially elementary school and early high school because that aspect of education in Canada United States has completely it's been annihilated right annihilated right so when we're gonna do this this is what we're gonna start off with we're gonna start off with the real number set Natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational, and irrational numbers. One of my first videos I ever put out was this graffiti style, right under a bridge in Vancouver. Okay. Important video. And we're going to redo that in this format. And when we're doing, you know, the module, creating modules, there's going to be text gluing everything together, putting it together, right? And there's going to be little segments, longer videos, as well as little segments to make sure the people who can't focus for an extended period of time get the little gist of it in little sound bites as well, right? And the most important thing about the real number set is aside from the transition from natural to whole numbers being zero, from whole numbers to integers being negatives, from integers to rational numbers is fractions okay and irrational numbers being really connect up to primes and special numbers such as pi right to be able to understand this and we've talked about this we've laid this out and whatnot right the most important thing you need to get out of this at the beginning stages the first thing you need to understand about mathematics to get into this is prime numbers numbers 
Okay. Because prime numbers govern irrational numbers for the most part, and prime numbers is the building block of the real number set, really, right? So prime numbers are ridiculously important. We'll focus on that as well, and we put a lot of videos on that stuff, right? Okay, because this is the building block. Building block of real number set. Okay, so we're gonna have a flow chart explaining all that stuff. Once we start talking about prime numbers, we're gonna lay it all out, right? And by the way, this is the way I teach my students from the beginning when I get them, when I work with them, if they're just starting out the basics, right? And each student is different. Sometimes you need to focus on this, focus on this, focus on this, focus on this. That's why uh, centralized indoctrination is pure garbage because centralized introduction indoctrination cannot meet the needs of individuals, right? Individuals, extremely important, extremely important, right? But once we talk about the real number set, understand what prime numbers are, then you get into the operations. Operations of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. And all of those are just an extension of addition, right? Subtraction is adding negative numbers. Multiplication is adding the same number multiple amount of times. And division is seeing if a certain number, how many times a certain number goes into another number, right? The reverse of multiplication, right? What we will be doing is focusing on addition, subtraction, and multiplication. I got my little flow chart here. I just generated this yesterday but i know it from bottom of my heart like just i've been doing this for so long i know this very well and i fine-tune it again based on the student right so oops multiplication and division and division is really important because it's related to rational numbers which is fractions right Because rational numbers are just numbers that you can express as fractions of integers plus or minus whole numbers, I guess, if you want to think about it, right? Now, once we deal with this, we will mention the equal sign, which is really about solving. So there's two types of operations you do in mathematics. One of them is simplifying. The other one is solving. Okay. When you're simplifying, you're really dealing with the operations. When you're solving, you need to know how to simplify before you can start solving, right? That's the general flow of how the information is going to be presented, right? And that's the general flow of the way you should start thinking about this stuff, right? Now, Q, which is really the rational rational numbers rational numbers which is really just fractions which is anything that you can write as a fraction of integers really means initially the first introduction to it aside from ratios because we won't get into ratios yet is fractions is part of a whole part of a whole right why are fractions important? Because if you don't know how to deal with fractions, fractions, if you don't know how to deal with fractions, then your whole life is going to be whole numbers, right? That means you'll never be able to eat an apple or half an apple. You'll only be able to eat one whole apple because you won't understand what a half means, right? You'll never be able to eat half a watermelon because you won't understand what half a watermelon means. You can only eat whole watermelon right i know that sounds ludicrous because it is if you don't understand fractions then that means you haven't lived so we as human beings have an innate understanding of fractions we're just adding a syntax to it right being able to quantify fractions in a way in the language of mathematics for us to be able to do higher level mathematics to take that information and expand on what we mean as part of a whole, right? 
Once we hit up fractions, again, we're going to be dealing with adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Because the initial phase of the operations, adding, subtracting, and multiplying, is going to be based on natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers. Right? Natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers. Once we hit division, that's when we're going to get into rational numbers, right? And once we get into rational numbers, we start dealing with fractions, then we have to relearn or learn the process of how we add, subtract, multiply, oops, and divide fractions, right? Okay. Again, that's the flow of information coming at you, right? And once you understand this, then you can start introducing the equal sign. Let's do it this way. Let's write it out this way. Once we hit this, then we can bring in solving, okay, which is really learning how to deal with the equal sign. So let's just write that up. Learning. Learning how to deal with the equal sign, which is basically solving for equations, solving for the unknown, right? Solving for the unknown. And all of these, in each step along the way, in each step along the way, we're going to have examples. Okay, examples are going to be practice problems, practice questions, and stuff related to math in real life applied in the real world. Applied math in real life, math in real life. Okay. And then you have your exercises. And these two are going to be embedded at every step along the way. And the text plus videos is going to be what glues it all together okay and this is the way I teach uh, my students this is really there's little minor tangents that we go off depending on the student and we will probably encounter those as well as we're generating this first module okay this first module and what we'll do is we will put out a booklet with the text and titles of videos and exercises and stuff. And the content will be compiled together into a specific, its own section with the text available online as well, with the videos embedded within the article. It's going to be a lot of work. I still have to uh, figure out what the best way to to do this is without being censored, deplatformed off of, you know, by technocrats, right? But what I want this stuff, what this, these modules that we're going to create, especially this first module, incredibly important, because this is going to be laying out the foundation of how we're going to go about things, right? So we're going to spend a fair bit of time on this fine tuning things, figuring out what the best way is to present this information is to really have this available in a format where it's going to help educators and educators could be teacher could be a mentor could be parents especially parents because homeschooling is kicking up like mad and parents are desperate as well as students to be able to take this module and either help someone learn it or learn it themselves okay I want this to become a resource where people can go. I want to learn how to deal with fractions. 
how do I learn how to deal with fractions? And they go here, and by the end of it, when they get spat out, doop, right? They come out and go, wow, I know how to deal with fractions. Okay. That's my plan. Now, there's a saying that says, uh, if you want to make God, if you believe in such things, if you want to make God laugh, tell him or her your plans. Well, this is my plan. Let's see who's going to laugh. I can guarantee you will have it out. Okay. There's been a lot of people that have been supporting this work on Patreon for a number of years. And I promised people that I was going to do this a long time ago. Right. And we got caught up with a lot of things. So huge, huge respect to all of you who remain on Patreon supporting this work. Huge respect to everyone that's been supporting this work for this long. Uh, we're getting into the final stages of it or the beginning stages of it. You know, final stage of one, one phase and the beginning stage is another phase where we're going to start uh, dealing with the stuff, okay, producing the stuff. And I'll try my best uh, to stay on top of it, make sure we do it. And my plan is to have, my guess is, this is going to take a year, okay. By the end of 2024, maybe sooner, hopefully in the summer when I have a lot of time, we will have the first, you know, 101 version of this out. Okay. And then we can fine tune it from there. Fun, fun, fun. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay. I just wanted to give you guys a lowdown of what's going on in my mind and where I am okay and give huge huge kudos to the people who've been supporting this work on patreon there's been a lot of you guys um, some of you guys that have been there for a very a lot of you guys that have been there for a very long time very long time um, and I, I will definitely make sure uh, your support is uh, you're happy with uh, supporting this work as well as on other platforms gang again we'll put it all up 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 and more and more okay and a huge thanks to the mods gang uh, I'm just gonna read the chat a little bit uh, just because um, I saw some stuff popping up but I didn't want to lose my train of thought <clears throat> 